Hey there, let's have a look at embedding your Wobo workbook in a text area in Thinkific. So this is going to be helpful if you want to put Wobo in uh, like alongside a video or an audio clip, or I'm even going to show you how to put it in a site page. So let's get started. The way that you get started is similar to this as if you were embedding in a multimedia lesson, but you'll notice there's something new that we've just added. So um, on your Wobo workbook, open up the embed uh, modal by either clicking this embed link here or clicking on the individual module that you want to embed. They'll open up the same thing. So choose what you want to embed, either the entire workbook or just an individual module. And then you'll notice this is new, so where it will appear. So multimedia lesson is the right format to use a multimedia lesson in Thinkific, but we've just added the option for an iframe. So this is what we're going to use to to put Wobo in a text lesson. So copy this. And then in Thinkific, let's head over to our courses. And then any lesson type that has the text area, you will see that code mode. So I'm just going to open one that I already have and we can just swap it. So I've got my video in here and then I've got my text options. So you want to switch over to the code view and then yours will be blank. I'm just going to replace all of this with the code that I just copied. So all you do is paste it in here. If you want, you can play around with making it a bit narrower or shorter, but I'll just show you how it goes in by default. Um, one trick, if you can't save like I can, you have to switch out of code view in Thinkific and then you should be able to save. So let's preview this lesson. So we've got our video and then down below we have our workbook. So I'll show you a workaround at the end of this video to get this workbook wider. Um, if you like how it how it looks, you're done, but I can show you a way to make this take up the full width of the screen so that you have a bit more screen space. So if you want to put this in another lesson type, similar format, use the text area. So um, here it is below a video, here it is below an audio clip, and you can even put it in a custom site page so it doesn't actually need to be in a course. So in the, I think it's called um, text and media lesson type, there's also a code view. So you can put it in here so you can get creative with where your workbook appears. Um, the workaround I'm gonna show you to make the video wider. So I'll show you one more time how narrow it is. So here's the width of the video and here's the workbook kind of by default. And I'm just gonna copy this code. This code is in our support docs so you can find it there as well. And you go back into Thinkific, into your settings, code and analytics. If there's anything in there, just leave it in there and add this. So take note that this will apply to all of your videos. So if you're changing the width of the text area, it's going to affect everything. So you've been warned. <laughs> so if I go back to my course, um, actually, I can just refresh this window where my workbook already is. So you can see the width now. And then if I refresh, you just get a lot more of the screen to play with. And so that's 100%. You could play around with like 80, 90% if you don't want to go quite so wide, but I find it's just a little bit nicer of a view to be able to um, take up that whole screen. So that's it. If you have any questions, um, email us on hi at woboapp.com.